Hi guys, Varun here from Phone Arena and guess what we got here? We have the all new Moto X which has gone on sale in the US uh, for an unboxing here in India. We managed to get hold of an unlocked unit thanks to Negri Electronics and we have it right here for an unboxing. This is the Moto X, uh, one of the first phones to come out of the all new Motorola which is now owned by Google. Uh, this is a really new uh, up approach and philosophy the company is taking. So this is one of the first Motorola phones which is going to be designed uh, and assembled in the US. So this is the uh, branding for that. So this is basically the retail package for uh, I think AT&T. Uh, so it doesn't have, say AT&T anywhere but uh, seems like it's made uh, for AT&T in the US. So this is the Moto X in uh, white and this is the retail package and nice little uh, wallpaper or on the front. So let's go ahead and get rid of this uh, seal here. And let's see what is there inside. So this is the AT&T version of the Moto X. So let's quickly get it in the hands. Oh wow, feels uh, nice to hold. So this is the front dominated by the AT&T uh, branding there and here is the back. Wow, feels it uh, very different. Um, and this is the Motorola logo and the branding there. AT&T logo as well. So as you can see, it's pretty curved on this. Uh, you know, it's like pretty curved and uh, it reminds me of the Galaxy Nexus uh, from Samsung, but the build quality seems a lot nice uh, and really, uh, well made uh, looking phone. So that's the uh, Motorola Moto X which is currently on sale only in the US. So let's quickly take a look at what else is there in the box. This is the retail package. So this is some flap here. So let's get, see what is here. So Motorola Moto X quick start guide. Let's get started. So here is all that. So it gives you an uh, idea of all what's there in the phone. SIM card tray. Interestingly, the Moto X is using a nano SIM card slot. Uh, probably only the other uh, phone apart from the iPhone and the Asus Padphone Infinity to use a nano SIM card uh, tray. So this is uh, some stuff, uh, pretty nice looking uh, manual there. Something called as touchless control. Can't wait to try this out. So basically you can say, okay, Google now and you can start searching even without touching your phone, which is kind of kick ass. Can't wait to try it out. So that's that and what else is here? So you have safety and regulatory information and here's the uh, USB uh, cable, nice looking uh, white uh, micro USB cable. AC, uh, what, this is a dual USB which is kind of cool. Which is normally there's only one uh, USB port. Here you have two. So basically you can charge your Moto X and probably some other device as well, probably your iPhone, who knows. So let's check what is the uh, rating on the uh, charger. So the AZ plug is a 5 volt 1150 milliamp uh, ampere charger. Um, but I think the Moto X can charge pretty fast considering it has a 2200 mAh battery. So that's the AC adapter there with a nice uh, dual USB. There's another interesting thing here, I'm predicting this is the uh, SIM ejector tool. Oh yeah, so really nice, beautiful looking uh, SIM ejector tool, one of the best you've probably seen uh, in the mobile industry till now, like in the, all the devices we have played with. Very nice to hold and nice looking pin there to get out the SIM card tray. That's what we're going to be doing next. Like we're going to be popping this tray out and see if our unlocked SIM card works in it. So here we have the Moto X, we're going to be popping out the SIM card tray, the nano SIM card tray here on the left and popping in our SIM card and check if it's going to work. I'm sure it's going to work, but let's quickly check. Considering this is one of the few uh, unlocked uh, models which are floating around. So this is an AT&T version, but it's kind of unlocked. So let's put in the SIM here. Kind of hard to deal with a nano SIM card always. It's so tiny and let's get it here. So we have put in the SIM card now, let's quickly give it a boot. So this is the boot sequence, let's get rid of the screen protector here. 
that nice looking AMOLED screen, 4.7 inch screen and nice interesting boot logo, not as boring as in other Android phones or any smartphone for that matter. So this is the setup screen, so let's quickly set this up. Some, this looks like stock Android, but uh, looks like Motorola has done some customization in terms of that. So let's go to the home screen. So here we have the uh, home screen on the Moto X, really lovely looking uh, 4.7 inch AMOLED screen there and feels really nice in the hands and uh, so as you can see it's already latched on to the Vodafone network here and it's unlocked so kind of happy that we didn't have to deal with any unlocking and all that. So, so that's the uh, UI here. So it looks pretty much like stock Android but with some minor modifications on uh, top of it. So it's running on Android 4.2.2 and it's running on Motorola's X8 mobile computing system. So technically this is a Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, MSM8960 uh, Pro uh, chipset, uh, Snapdragon S4 Pro, but then Motorola is calling it the X8 or 8 core platform. It's actually a, technically a dual core uh, processor uh, and also it packs a Arduino 320 GPU from Qualcomm, but then Motorola is calling it the X8 uh, architecture. and. Uh, so you can see it's a 4.7 inch uh, AMOLED screen there, the 120 by uh, 1280 by 720 uh, pixel screen, 720p screen, 2 GB of RAM on in inside, it's pretty nice for a uh, Android uh, phone and you also have 802.11 uh, AC support which is kind of nice and the 16 GB of onboard storage so let's quickly check what's the usage available to us. So you have about 11.8 GB, 88 GB, which is kind of cool because it's almost stock Android and not something like TouchWiz or Moto Blur, which kind of uses a lot of uh, um, space. So it's got a, so let's quickly do a hardware tour here. So let's quickly go through the hardware here. So you can see the front, you have the 4.7 inch AMOLED screen, 720p resolution, really nice, uh, very vibrant. And uh, it's got some power saving technology. So basically you can uh, get notifications in some portions of the screen. We'll look into that later. So that's the front and you have uh, um, the earpiece here, the front facing camera, some sensors here. So you have a two megapixel front facing camera on, over here on the top side and you have all the controls are on screen so you don't have any physical buttons. So you have a microphone here right below the display and on the bottom you have the uh, micro USB port for charging and uh, that's the micro USB port and that's not pretty much nothing else on the left side apart from the nano SIM card tray. Uh, and it's, it's pretty uh, curved design. So you have about, it's about 10.4 mm thick uh, in terms of the thickest point and probably about uh, 5.6 mm at the thinnest point. So as you can see, it's about 10.4 uh, mm thick here. So on the top, you have another microphone and uh, you have uh, the 3.5 mm audio jack standard audio jack. So on the left side you have the power lock switch and the uh, volume rocker, really nice etched out uh, keys there. So the thing is the Moto X can be also customized using uh, Motorola's online, on online tool called Moto Maker but the sad thing is that's available only on AT&T in the US but this is an unlocked version we got from Nick Electronics. So this is uh, pr pretty much the default uh, version, can't be customized. But if you want to customize and if you're in the US then you can do it. You can basically change stuff like the back uh, color. You can even get wood here uh, on your back. So this is basically a plain white uh, finish. So you can also get uh, wood. You can get accents like you can change the colors of your uh, volume rocker and all those edges and everything. And you can also customize the wallpaper and the boot uh, greeting as well. So Moto Maker is a cool tool. We'll talk about that later. But this is the uh, Moto X, so you have 16 GB of onboard storage, uh, it's, it's pretty lightweight at 130 grams, feels almost perfect for a phone. This I would call it pretty much the iPhone of the Android space, so it's pretty much uh, the iPhone of the Android space because the size feels so comfortable to hold in the hands. So it's slightly bigger than the iPhone 5, but uh, slightly heavier too, but then it's the ideal form factor for most uh, people. So uh, unless you want to use something like this, you're not probably the normal consumer, you're probably looking for a phablet. So this is uh, the Moto X, a uh, pretty nice looking Android phone and you have uh, a 2020 mAh battery on the inside, 
and let's uh, talk about the camera for a second. So on the back, you have a 10 megapixel camera along with an LED flash and there's a loudspeaker grill right here. And uh, so the camera is a clear pixel uh, camera. So that's something new from Motorola and many people have said that the camera is really great on the Moto X considering it's an Android phone and uh, we're going to be trying it. One cool feature though of the camera is there's something called, uh, um, let's go into settings and show it to you. So, so let's uh, show you the settings. As you can see the settings, uh, the camera settings has a new option, like new way or new UI, especially made for the Moto X. It's a camera uh, UI. So there's something called quick capture. So basically what I can do is uh, I can go back to the phone's home screen and basically I uh, flick my wrist a couple of times and the camera launches, voila. So I just capture a picture right like that. So that's pretty cool actually, considering you can, it works pretty much reliably even for the first time. So that's cool. So that's quick capture on the Moto X and we want to try uh, Google uh, now. So let's quickly try Google now, right? Okay, Google now. How many rupees is one US dollar? Wow, this is cool. So you can basically interact. This is much better than Siri in uh, some aspect. So right now the phone is on the table, the Moto X. It's not even unlocked. So it's just lying idle there. I'm going to be waking it up. Okay, Google now. What's the weather in Chennai? It's 32 degrees and partly cloudy in Chennai. Wow, this is, is, oh my God, awesome. So this is like uh, really the best uh, technology our voice recognition can get. I could basically launch it uh, right from uh, uh, a lock state and get it to do something for me. This it could be a privacy issue, but then if you're gonna be alone and you have the phone with you and you wanna get something done and you don't wanna be putting your hands on the phone, this is kind of awesome. So let's try something else as well. Okay, Google now. What's the time in London? The time in London, UK is 11.29 a.m. So that was a quick unboxing of the uh, Motorola Moto X and uh, it's available only in the US right now sadly. It's not coming to India anytime soon and you can get it from the US uh, unlocked uh, for about five, about $600. It's available off contract on AT&T for about $579, but I don't know how it works, but Nikkei Electronics is selling them right now and you can get hold of it from them. So um, another quick thing I wanted to show is the usage of the AMOLED screen. So you can basically uh, get your notifications and all in place uh, right from the home screen. So uh, that's uh, something. So that's about it. So that was a quick unboxing of the Motorola Moto X. Thanks for watching.